Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Elise, and today I'm showing you how to get a really easy smoky eye for hooded eyelids. So if you want to see how to get this look, then let's just keep on watching. Roll the intro. So like I mentioned, we're going to be going through how to do a really simple, the easiest way for you to do um, a smoky eye. Now, technically a smoky eye is grays and blacks and like silvers because that's where it gets its name from, it's smoky. For this video we're going to be doing um, more of a warm smoky eye because that's typically what people think when they think of a smoky eye. So we're going to be using browns and neutral tones for today but this look or this technique can be used for any color. So you can do it with bright colors, you can do it with neutral colors, you can do it with blacks and silvers, whatever you want to do. So um, I'm going to be showing you how to do it with warm tones but you do you. Um, it is extremely hot today, <laughs> which is why I am a frizzy disaster. I actually haven't styled my hair yet. It's still partly wet. So when I come back in the outro and intro and this, I'm sure it will be styled. But for now, we're working with this. Um, okay. First thing first, you're going to prime your eyes. I'm using um, the e.l.f. Camo Concealer 16 Hour Wear. This is one that I really enjoy from the drugstore. Um, before I started using the Hourglass one, this is what I was using. I'm just gonna go ahead and set it with a neutral, either a face powder or um, a skin toned eyeshadow. Just want to make sure that it's not tacky. So now that our eyes are prepped and set, I'm going to show you the easiest way to achieve a really nice clean um, shape to your eyes, and that's by using scotch tape. This is something um, you don't have to, but you can. I like to. It gives a really clean line, and it just makes it way easier. So if you're a beginner learning how to do this, scotch tape is great. So what you're going to do is just put it on the back of your hand and pull it off a couple times so it's not overly sticky. And then you're going to look down into your mirror and you're going to line it up with the end of your eyebrow and like following the shape of your under eye. Okay, so we're working today with how to do a smoky eye for hooded eyelids. So as you'll notice, I have quite hooded eyelids. Um, I don't have a lot of lid space. So I'm going to be showing you how you get the most effective smoky eye without closing your eye off and being able to see all the colors. So what we're going to do is we're working in layers today. So we're going to be starting with lighter shadows, medium colored shadows, and then darker shadows. By layering your eyeshadows, you're going to be creating a lot more depth. And by doing it with the tape, you're going to be able to see exactly what the shadow is going to look like. And it's significantly easier for uh, beginners. So we're going to start by taking um, a bronzer as our first shade and I'm doing this because it's usually quite a neutral tone. So I'm going to go in with this shade here. This is the Essence Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder. This is a great bronzer from the drugstore. I'm going in with the lightest shade here and a big fluffy brush. So I'm taking a Zoeva 221 Soft Crease Brush. It's just a really, really fluffy Brush. We're going to be working pretty heavily on the outer corner of the eye and then we're going to be keeping the inner part of the eye blank and very neutral because this is going to draw attention upwards and outwards of the eye and give you that um, open look when you have hooded eyelids. So when it comes to working with hooded eyelids, you want to make sure that you're consistently checking with your eyes open and then your eyes closed. So putting your mirror directly below you is going to help you because then you can look down and see your entire lid space with your eyes still open. And then looking straight ahead, you'll be able to see what you can see when your eyes are open. So by continuously checking um, open, like when you're looking straight ahead and looking down, you're going to be able to see a lot better um, and be able to adjust where your colors need to go. So this first color, it's okay to bring it quite high up because it's a really light shadow and we're going to be working our way down from here. So you'll notice that there's really no harsh lines right now in the way that I've blended out this shadow. It's just a very light gradient and you can't even really see the color, which is exactly what we want. Um, I have brought this color pretty well uh, halfway into my eyelid. So that's where we're going to pull the furthest is 
that far in. Um, next, we're going to go in with the Soft Glam Palette. This is where I'm working out of today. You could do this whole look with the Soft Glam Palette. I just wanted a more of a neutral tone eyeshadow for the first step. So now we're going in with Burnt Orange. It's just a really nice warm tone brown. And I'm taking the same brush, but I'm going to be a little bit more precise with it this time. We're going to be applying it slightly lower than we applied that first shadow and not as far in, but we're going to continue to build up that color. So we're going to start it on the outer part here, and you can actually just like pack the color on, and then you're going to look straight ahead so you can see where that darkness starts to show up. And I know for myself, I have to bring it up a little bit higher, just like this. Then you can start slowly blending it into the other color once there's not as much color left on that brush. I also like to keep a um, paper towel with me in front so that as I'm blending, I can wipe off my brush and go back in with a bit of a cleaner brush. And so we're just going to start to pull that in and blend that out. And then once you have nothing left on your brush, just run it back and forth over where those two colors are connecting. Just to make sure that it all stays very soft. This look is going to be really soft and really blown out. That's typically what people think of when they think of a smoky eye. Okay. We're switching our brushes now. We're going to go into something a little bit more precise. We're going to be taking the uh, 228 Lux Crease Brush. You'll notice it has a bit more of a tapered look to it, but it's still quite fluffy. Um, and we're going to go in with Rustic. So that's just and taking that again on the brush, tap off any excess, and we're going to, again, work our way down so this is not going to be applied as high up into the crease and not as far in. And so we're going to tap that on the outer part here because we are trying to build a bit of an angle with our shadow. So by focusing everything upwards and along the outer part here, we're just really pulling the eye look upwards. And I'm just packing that shadow on first. Very gently, and you'll notice that I'm holding my brush quite far down. This is going to give you a really light hand. And then I'm going to start to smoke that out. Because we're working with a darker shade now, it's okay to slowly build up your color. You don't want to apply everything all at once. And then I'm going back in with my first blender brush and I'm going to run that over the colors just to keep it blended. I'm going to go back and forth between those two brushes now. So adding a little bit of that rustic color, packing that on, just start dragging that color where you want it to go very lightly. And then back in with a fluffy brush and blend. Another thing to note about how far up you're going to be bringing those shadows, you'll notice that I brought the darkness a little bit higher up, um, is if you're going to be wearing false lashes or not. So I know that I'm putting false lashes on, or false lashes, I know that I'm putting false lashes on after this, so my lashes are going to come out to about here, and I want that depth to be matching the length of my eyelashes. So if you are not wearing false lashes, don't bring your color up as high. If you are wearing false lashes, it's okay to go a little bit higher and heavier. It's just going to balance out the lashes better. Okay, working into our next step now. You do not have to add this next color. I'm going to do it as an extra uh, step of dimension. I'm going to go in with Cypress Umber, which is this brown tone shade here, and using a same, the same brush that we went in with that rustic color, and I'm going to apply it once again in the crease outer, or the outer part of the eye and then slightly lower than everything else. And we're just creating a really, really nice depth to our look. Okay, so we've got a really, really great gradient going on right now. I'm going to, <clears throat> excuse me, switch out my brush. And I'm going to go in with a pencil brush. This is the Zoeva 230 Luxe pencil. I'm going in with the Noir shadow here and I'm going to start creating a really nice smoky black liner. This is just going to help pull everything up. And then using whatever's left over on my brush, I am just going to start fluffing it into those other brown tones. Okay, so ensuring that I keep everything really nice and smoky and balanced, I'm going to go in with um, a very tiny detail brush. 
and I'm going to take that black shadow and use that to line the rest of my eyelid because I find that for me using a black shadow is preferred. So I'm going to take that and I'm just going to start to connect it where that darker shade starts all the way across. And this is also really helpful for hooded eyelids because of the fact that typically eyeliner takes up a lot of space on your eyelid which prevents you from seeing the actual makeup look. So by using a detailed liner brush and just applying it with a smoky shadow, it gives you the most, the best effect for your eyes. Now, you can take the tape off. And you'll see it's just this like incredibly sharp line. Easy, super simple. Okay, um, so now we're gonna work on popping on some lashes. I am going to take my mascara and just coat my lashes a couple times with that. Um, it helps with the thickness of your falsies and just helps them blend. All right, now I'm going in with the Ardell Demi Wispies. Um, mine are not in a package because I reuse my eyelashes, so I don't know where the package is. But I'm going in with my Demi Wispies here, and these are my favorite fake eyelashes for my eye shape, so hooded eyelids and quite round. This, um, they don't look too intense, but they do add some drama to my look, so I'm going to apply those. So now that we have those lashes on, you can tell that the lashes really just amplify and complement the shape of the eyeshadow. It makes a really, really big difference in the look of the eyes. So it looks quite dramatic over here, but with the lashes on, it actually looks pretty decent. I'm pretty happy with this, actually. I don't know, it'll look pretty good if you tell me. I'm pretty happy with this. Okay, as that drew, uh, drew as that glue dries, I'm just going to go back in with my mascara. This is a trick for false lashes for me. I don't like the way that false lashes kind of just like stop in some spots. Um, so what I do is I take my mascara, I look down, it looks totally crazy. I look down into my mirror, which is here, and I take it this way. Just to blend my natural ones in with the falsies, and like you can tell that now it looks significantly more blended. And I just do the same thing on the other side. There we go. Now you can't tell where it stops. Okay, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna hop off camera, I'm gonna put my foundation, my concealer, my powder on, and then we're gonna come back, oh, and my eyebrows and everything, because right now it looks kinda crazy. And we're gonna finish up the lower lash line. Okay, so we are back with a pretty well full face of makeup now. Um, I'll list everything I put on my face in the bio. My hair is looking oh, ridiculously crazy, and we're just gonna finish up the lower lash line now. And just the same as what we did on the top of our lid, we're going to be doing the exact same thing by building up the different shades under our eyes just to make sure that we continue that depth. So I'm going in with a 226 Smudger Brush by Zoeva. This is going to be our first step. Then I'm going back in with our first um, shadow that we used, which was actually a bronzer. I'm going to start by applying that right under the eye and connecting it to where the darker shadows start. Some people like to go really dark under the eye. I like to keep it quite soft for myself. And I don't like lining the inner waterline with a black like some people do as well because it just closes my eyes off too much and I want it to stay really bright and awake. Going back in with my Soft Glam palette, going into a rustic, so we're skipping one of the shadow steps, but that's okay. Taking that same brush, I'm going to start smudging it into the lash line and upwards. Okay, and then just to make sure that everything stays really nice and connected, I'm going in with the Cypress Umber, that's our darkest brown shade here, and I'm going to very, very lightly, just to connect the darker shades, 
just going to smudge that on the outer part of the eye here, and then slightly flick it inwards, just to create that gradient. I'm not bringing it further than like halfway through my eye. Okay, and to make sure that everything is really nice and smoky, I'm going to take a really small fluffy brush. This is a 231 Petite Crease Brush. Going back in with that first bronzer shade here, and I'm going to use that to smudge and blend that lower lash line out. So I'm going to apply it directly on top, and it's just going to blend everything together. Keep it looking really nice and smoky. And soft. Alrighty, we're almost done! Finishing off that lower lash line with some mascara. And the very last step, which is by no means necessary, but I like to do it, is I'm going to take a light peach tone and I'm going to pop that into the inner corner. Some people like to use a shimmery shadow, I prefer matte, just find that it's more flattering on myself. Take that and just, and I am applying it just like directly on the darkest part of my under eye circles as well, just to make sure that everything is nice and bright. like that. All right, you guys, that is the finished look. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope this was helpful for you. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'm coming out with one to two videos every single week now. I'm doing lifestyle and beauty, so there's lots of content here for you on this channel, and I would love to see you back here again. Um, you can follow me on Instagram, at Elise Moore, and I'll link the handle somewhere on this page, on here. <laughs> and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!